have a tradition. And although it may seem like an easy game to play, it takes a practice to get really good at it. Well, we're going to introduce you to a team of softball players who've had a lot of practice. They've been playing softball collectively for over 200 years. A special brand of softball that is a Chicago original. 16-inch softball. The way the game got started in 1887, uh, a group of uh, Harvard and Yale alumni uh, were awaiting uh, the outcome of the, their annual football game, which was a big thing. Uh, they didn't have the television or anything like we have now, as we all know. So they, they gathered as a group, and uh, while they were waiting, they decided to try to play a little game of some sort. So what they did is they got a boxing glove and they tied the strings around it to make it oval, about 16 inches in circumference. They got a broomstick and they started hitting the ball around. And in fact, uh, the, the score of the first game was 41 to 40. The reason the game got so popular, all you needed was a bat, one bat and one ball. You didn't need gloves, you didn't need anything else. And uh, the, nobody was working, so they played, they played softball all the time. Although the boat club is long gone, in 1987, a monument was erected to honor the 100th anniversary of America's game. If you grew up in Chicago and you play 16-inch softball, you probably learned to play in a neighborhood like this one. This was home plate. Over there was first and then second and third. It was usually pitcher's hand out. If the ball hit the side of the building across the street, well, that was an automatic triple. And Sliding into home plate was a risky proposition on this field. It was always an ethnic game. I mean, a neighborhood game. And uh, the neighborhood I come from was 51st and Washington, which is by California Avenue. And uh, it was a Slovak neighborhood. Everybody on the team was a Slovak. We'd play another team from uh, 31st Street, an Irish neighborhood. They were all Irish. Uh, go down to 30, uh, or, uh, behind Sox Park, they were all Italian. I remember a couple of games where ladies uh, chased me off the field because uh, I happened to uh, hit a home run to win a ball game or something like that and uh, come there and, uh, and we were playing in the other neighborhood. We, you know, we didn't have much of our, many of our fans there, so they, uh, they chased me into my car. It happened a couple of times. How many people would you say now are playing it? Right now, last year, in fact, there was 150 million people playing softball. 16-inch, 12-inch, all aspects of softball. There are a lot of levels. One level of play is the Grant Park Corporate League. Bill Cavanaugh is the coach of the Commonwealth Edison team. The team has been in existence for over 20 years. Uh, it started off with a bunch of people who played softball all their lives and, and wanted to play and represent Commonwealth Edison Company here in downtown Chicago at Grant Park playing against other teams, uh, other corporate teams. That's uh, basically a, what everybody is down here is uh, corporate teams. And uh, from there, it's just been continued on by uh, new people. Every year, there's, there's at least one or two new people come out for the team and make the team. And uh, we generally carry a roster of 20 people. Uh, the makeup of the team is uh, we have uh, people who are meter readers, uh, we have people who are linemen that work up on our, our poles, uh, we have people who work in clerical positions within the company doing a variety of tasks. Uh, we also have people who are our management employees that uh, fulfill a, a variety of functions on behalf of uh, Commonwealth Edison. Uh, he pretty much runs the gamut uh, that you could imagine on a large corporation. Moose Murphy, uh, uh, one of the uh, earliest members of the team. He's been around on the team, I, you know, going in 20 years, right around that uh, that neck of the woods. Phil Williams, uh, another fellow on the team. Uh, boy, it's got to be 20 years for Phil on the team, I'm sure. Still a very valuable part of the team. He's he's gone from being an outfielder, infielder, pitcher, uh, has done it all for this team over the years, and I'm sure will continue to do so for a number of years. Ivan Marino, he's a lineman in our Chicago North office, also at California and Addison. Just a great softball player, a real uh, asset to this team. Bob Sertella, uh, another guy who probably 16, 17, 18 years on the team. Uh, another guy who just really wants to do anything he can do to win. Pat Moran, uh, one of our stalwart players. Um, a guy who's played more softball than probably any 10 people on our team and uh, another real valuable person because he has pretty kind of taken over uh, 
running the team on the field for us. Last year, the ComEd team surprised even themselves by winning their first ever tournament of champions title. It was really tough to believe last year that we had actually <laughs> accomplished our mission, uh, but it sunk in that evening as the evening wore on and uh, we celebrated. We, we had a real good time. We had a lot of fun. The people on this team make it fun. And if it weren't for that, I wouldn't be involved with uh, with this group of people. They're, they're great people to be around. Uh, I can't say enough about them. We'll talk with some of the ComEd players when 16-inch continues. During the day, Phil Williams dresses the part of a Treasury Services coordinator. But underneath that suit is a consummate softball player. It's just like addictive. You, you start playing, and if you really like it, it kind of grows on you. It's kind of hard to stop, as you probably can tell. It's just, it's just, you just have to do it. It's something that you really have a, you look forward to in the springtime, and you have a sort of a down when it's over. Why did you get on the team? Why did you want to do it? Um, well, basically, I was threatened into joining it. I wanted to play anyway, but I was threatened. I, uh, the then coach, uh, John O'Donohue, saw me playing in like a little outing he asked me to play well sort of sort of demanded that i play you know so that's basically i wanted to play anyway it was interesting so that's how i got on the team have you in 19 years had one of those rocky moments something that you like to once in a while bring up and say remember when i uh, when i did this yes yes i had a, a a rare streak going for a recreational softball i think i hit uh I batted about 770, which is about one year, which is an extraordinary year. You have to hit ten, seven out of ten times. And I had quite a few games where I was four for four, five for five. Just happened. Haven't been able to duplicate it, but uh, it was one of those years that, yeah, I, I don't think I'll ever forget. And I try not to let anybody else forget them. <laughs> so, but that, that, that was a good year for me. Bob Saratella's softball career began at an early age. Uh, I remember uh, playing softball as early as three or four years old. I, I learned the game in the uh, alleys and streets on the southwest side of the city of Chicago. And uh, from there I got involved with uh, leagues in the uh, neighborhood. And uh, when I came to Edison, uh, that gave me the chance to play in the first organized 16-inch softball league. There's probably a lot of things that uh, uh, a lot of people could say about why they play the game and, and why some people are so fanatics about it. Uh, there's a lot of camaraderie there. There's a lot of good people involved in the game. Uh, there's uh, competitiveness and discipline and all these things. But I think the one thing that all the softball players would always agree to, and, and certainly the one thing that has kept me coming back year after year, is the game itself. Uh, I think there's no question in anybody's mind that playing the game of softball is just a lot of fun. Ivan Moreno is a lineman for ComEd. How long have you been on the softball team? Uh, I believe I'm working on my fifth year there, so I'm having a lot of fun. Why'd you join it? Uh, well, the enthusiasm. Uh, I feel great playing ball all the time. It uh, brings my spirit up. Like the camaraderie with the other guys? Camarade is fantastic. You can't uh, put words together to match the team, and uh, it's great. How long have you been playing 16-inch ball? And uh, when did you start? Well, I was taught when I was about 12. And uh, then I went straight to league ball, uh, then back to softball. So about, about eight, 10 years. Are you pretty good? I think I am. I do well. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's a lot of fun. What, what's this team like? We put together a nice team where uh, we want to win, but you got to have a lot of fun. If you don't have that, you might as well give it up. So the whole attitude of the team is having a lot of fun. We're sticking together. We're going to be a happy family. Everybody's equal. There's no one greater, but uh, if you want to stick one guy out, Pat, you're it. <laughs> what is Pat like out there? Pat, he's, uh, he starts everything. I think uh, since he's captain, uh, he brings the craziness out of the guy and brings out the little kids out of the guy. If you don't have it, 
we'll bring it out in some way or another. What kind of player are you? What's your personality, your makeup when you get out there? Well, uh, you know, I like to have fun, first of all, and I, I really think you, you should. You shouldn't be too serious. I mean, you don't want to be yelling at people for making errors because you make errors also. Um, I try to be the team leader. It's difficult because when you're out there with nine team leaders, it's hard to be a team leader because everybody wants to be the team leader. So um, I used to play shortstop, and I really think uh, Coach Cavanaugh put me at short center because a lot of the action is there that throws from the outfield, so it sort of puts me in control of the game. And basically, I think that's why I did that. As one of the team's veterans, Pat Moran has had his share of winning moments, and one rather funny one. In your 20-year career, have you ever done anything that you've not yes. wanted to come in the next day? Yes, I, I just wanted to leave the world. Uh, one time in, in the first inning, I used to play shortstop, like I said, I started out playing shortstop. The second batter up hit me a ground ball. Well, I was a young kid, I thought I had a strong arm, so I reared back and threw it over the first baseman's head. Well, we play in Grant Park, and there was a bus going by, and the ball bounced and went up into the window, and the bus just kept going. Well, it's funnier than that, because when you play down here, you have one new ball, and the team, the home team, brings it. Now, we have a, a time limit, too, so you only play for an hour. Now, we're searching for a new ball for about 30 minutes, and we wound up only playing five innings because of the time rule, and we lost. So they blamed the whole thing on me uh, just because I threw one over the first base and right in the bus. The bus didn't even hesitate, just kept going. So it was real embarrassing, and I, I didn't want to come to work the next day. During the season, Pat, how do you rank? Marriage, softball, and work. What order? During during the during season. During the season. Boy, this uh, this is going to be on. Uh, uh, during the season, probably, um, I would say softball is probably right up to the top. They're very close. Marriage and then work. Um, they're all very. They're so close. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I mean, it's a very close race. But softball does take. Uh, a little bit more of my time at that particular time. Oh, jeez. <laughs> How much time does he really take out of his personal life to do what this? Stupid thing. Well, this year it's been wonderful because he's just been playing with Edison, but the past years he's been playing four or five days a week, and that was a lot. <laughs> I got a lot of schooling done, a lot of needlepoint, a lot of sewing. <laughs> But this year I'm more involved with his softball. Philip, is your daddy a good baseball player? Yes. How good a softball player is? He? Real How good. good. Oh, very good. <laughs> what? Do you want to play softball? Yes. Who would you play like? I would play like my daddy. The ComEd team heads into the Tournament of Champions at 16 Inch Continues. Bill this week. Is he a little on edge? Because this is this is leading up to tournament. Well, this is tournament. I mean, leading up to the final. Well, Philip is frantic as far as this team. It's his number one priority. He, yes, he is on edge. <laughs> Bill's worries were a bit unfounded as the ComEd team beat the Continental Bank number two team by a whopping score of 12 to 3. You moited him? Yes, we did. We moited him. You feel good about that? We're on a roll. We're starting tomorrow of another night. All right. All right. Did the team, I mean, this was this was a, a massacre. Did they perform up to par, or do you think anybody out there... They played really to? well. They played really well. We can play better. We have to play better before it's over. Actually, the team played, we were a little sluggish at first, but we came on pretty good. We haven't played in a while, too, two or three weeks, some of us, so we'll come along. It just takes, it takes a while. two against the Continental Bank number one team wasn't as easy a win. And although the final score was nine to six, Coach Kavanaugh was not pleased with the team's performance. Excuse me, this is not for the camera. You don't want to know that. <laughs> you, you make us walk over here and we can't be well, a part of that. I didn't see huddle. you and, and uh, really I was a little bit... Uh, what? I had to be objective and I didn't know if I could be objective with the camera on me so <laughs> I decided that I needed to talk to the players and uh, and what did you say to them I uh, I just wanted to know if anybody was satisfied with the way we played ball tonight and if they were I wanted them not come back out tomorrow night 
And I wanted them to leave right then and there if they were satisfied because we played uh, not our type of uh, softball. And I just, uh, I'm not satisfied with that. And neither are they. I know they're not. But I just want to make sure, I want to make sure I wasn't uh, getting fooled by anybody out here. So I just wanted them to uh, to know that I'm not satisfied and and I uh, I demand more out of them than what they gave tonight. So they'll give it to us tomorrow night. What was said in that huddle over there we weren't privy to? Uh, you don't want to hear it now. <laughs> it wasn't good. Well, he just basically wanted to know if we were satisfied with the game we played and if we weren't sat if we were satisfied, don't show up tomorrow. <laughs> so uh, everybody said they weren't satisfied, which is normal in those situations, and uh, hopefully we can come back stronger tomorrow. Used in nice, sweet language, right? Uh, yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Not meant for the camera. <laughs> All right. Game three was expected to be one of the toughest games for ComEd. They were playing the CNA goal team, the same team that almost kept them out of the finals last year. But this year, the team was on a mission, and the final score of 15 to 1 put them firmly into the finals bracket. Yeah. Were you surprised? Because these guys last year gave you a real rough Yeah, I was a little surprised. I, I thought they were, like, down. And I'm not sure. I, we thought they'd give us a better game because they came so close last year and they owed us one. But they were really down, and we, and we got a good start. Four runs in the first thing. So it worked out real well. You know what it was? See, when they arrived, before you guys came, a couple of them arrived beforehand, and they saw this on uh -oh. and they thought there was a girl on the team. Oh. They got scared. Well, <laughs> we'll take it. You can be on, a, on our team anytime, as long as we're winning. <laughs> Believe me. It's bueno, eh? Muy bueno, muy bueno. <laughs> Okay, how did you feel tonight? This was uh, a surprising victory. This team was tough last year. It's a uh, tough team. Uh, give us a little... Uh... Smile for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm in training. Yeah. And those guys were tough, but we had to give it to them. We had to show them who was boss, and tomorrow's another day. <laughs> Ahmed team goes for back-to-back -back Tournament of Champions titles and 16-inch continues. Staying at second, Sarah Tola at third, Alexander Pitson. Let's go! Yeah. Why did Ahmed side sponsor this? Well, we've always been involved in a lot of community activities, uh, so we'd like to support the, the league for the, the city, but also uh, we like to support our own people, and uh, they find this is a great way to build teamwork and camaraderie, and they enjoy it. Have you been coming out during the season a lot? I've been to some of them, yes, and, uh, and enjoying them. It's always nice to see them win. Can you believe that they've come this far, that they Absolutely. could have a back-to-back? -back? Absolutely. They won it last year, and we expect them to win it this year, and we expect them to win it again next year. So you are going to sponsor them next year? Absolutely. We certainly will. Now, the, uh, the ComEd team is very hot. They're the reigning champs. They may win this year. Is that a new...